All right, uh, in the next part of the lecture, we are going to um, to see how we can uh, solve exact differential equations. Well, exact differential equations is kind of a long story. So um, basically, the, the rest of the lecture is going to be about exact differential equations. So there are four parts. So um, now the um, concept of an exact differential equation uh, comes from the kind of the, the idea of considering uh, a level curves of functions, right? So if we have a function of two variables and uh, suppose that we want to look at a level curve of the, the, this function, right? So then um, now let, let's say we're going to differentiate this uh, with respect to x, right? So if we want to differentiate this with respect to x. Now, um, how do we differentiate it with, with respect to x? Um, we differentiate du with respect to x times dx dx according to the chain rule plus du dy times uh, dy dx and uh, the derivative of, of c is zero. Uh, so um, now dx dx is, is just one, right? So but by doing this, we, we, we get this. And um, now the if we uh, have a differential equation that, that looks like this, that we know uh, that in, in order to solve it, basically what, what we do is we um, we use this uh, form. And, and from here, we kind of try to, well, we, we hope to solve for y. Uh, now, uh, traditionally, we write equations that look like this in a slightly different form. It's kind of, so imagine that we kind of multiply by, by dx, right? And if we multiply it by dx, then we get something like this, du dx dx plus du dy d, dy is zero, right? And basically, if this is n, and this is, sorry, this is m and this is n, um, then this kind of uh, type of an e equation that, that we are kind of uh, trying to solve. So m dx plus n dy, where m and n are functions of x and y, right? So this is what it looks like. Um, so this is the chain rule, right? And basically um, here is the, how we traditionally write such a differential equation, right? So now, um, but again, uh, what we, in, in practice, we begin with a differential equation, right? So in practice, we begin with, um, something that looks like, like, like this, right? So, uh, we have some function of X and Y times the X plus some other, some, some function of X and Y times, times the Y equals zero, right? So, um, and, uh, we kind of need to figure out whether, uh, that there is, um, the, the, this other function u of x and y such that du dx is m and du dy is, is, is n. And if we are able to find such a function u, then we can solve. So then, then basically, if such function u exists and if, if we are able to figure figure the, 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 it out, then to, to solve the differential equation, we just try that uh, u of x, y. is c and then try to solve uh, for, for y. Well, the, this function u is called the potential function for the differential equation. All right. Um, now, uh, how does it work in practice? So um, here is um, how we do it, right? So suppose that we have a differential equation. Well, again, uh, it is written in, in this form, right? But maybe um, you, I mean, if it is kind of counterintuitive to you, because what, what is dx, what is dy? So maybe it is easier to, if you translate it to something more familiar. So th this is the same as to write 2x uh, sine y plus x square cosine y times dy dx is zero, right? So I can usually find it more comfortable, so to say, to, to think of it as as kind of as, as the, this differential equation, right? Okay, uh, but um, now, uh, how do we um, find the, the potential, right? So the idea is that 
we are assuming that this is our, our the uh, derivative of some unknown function u with respect to x, right? Well, so ux is 2x sine y, right? So we should, to, 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 to figure out what the u is, we should integrate with respect to x, right? So which means that u of x, y should really be um, x squared times sine y, right? Well, um, now the question is, so now we know that uh, the derivative of u with respect to x is the uh, whatever is in the differential equation, right? So it, it, it is correct, right? So uh, it is true that ux is in fact this m. Right? So this is m. But is it true that uy is m? Let's find out, right? So let us um, find the partial derivative of u with respect to, to y, right? So uy. So we've got to differentiate this, so x squared is a constant. So differentiating sine y, we get cos and y, cos and y. And yes, it checks out. So we, we do get the coefficient in front of dy, right? So it means that we have found our uh, potential function u of x, y, right? So, and the general solution to our differential equation is u of x, y, which is x squared sine y is a constant. Now, hypothetically, if you want to solve for y, you, in, in fact, you can, right? So because um, you, you can solve for y and solving for y, you, you, you get sine y equals constant over x square. So y is really, what is it? Um, so if we know that sine of y is some given constant and basically um, y is inverse sine of c over x square plus 2 pi n or I hope I'm not making a mistake or inverse sine of, of what so another possibility so if the, this is the, the y so this is inverse sine and this is uh, I guess 2 pi minus inverse sine, right? So um, minus inverse sine, am I right? Uh, C of x square uh, plus 2 pi plus 2 pi. Yeah, yeah I, I hope I'm right. Yeah, sorry if I'm if I'm wrong. Please, please tell me. Well, anyway, so in, in, in the printed version of, of the slides, they don't try to, to solve for y, but I guess uh, usually it is better to, to actually solve for y. Yeah, in, in practice, if you want to solve um, an initial value problem, then it makes more sense to first find c and then uh, do the inverse sign thing. So then, because then you will figure out what the, this n is. So the, the, this n should be an integer. Okay, um, so that, that's basically it about um, exact differential equation.